Welcome back, it is Thursday and that means acting analysis finimators and today we're gonna to take a look at Star Trek Deep Space Nine, an episode from season one and two. All right, so we're gonna take a look at two sequences. One involves something that changes your body acting and your behavior. And the second one is something a bit more subtle when you have an acting shot where you have something very still, but it's a cool detail to add that kind of shows subtext or some hidden aspect of a character. But let's take a look at the first sequence. All right, I can show you and scrub through this. This will not be in the description below because you don't need to hear the audio, but it's basically the sequence where a quark has a neck brace. So the thing that's cool is already the way he walks, the way this restricts him is gonna have an effect on acting choices. So if you act this out, you can't move your neck. So the way he already walks in is very stiff and obviously it's because of this, but it would change the way you walk. Then in here, it's gonna change the way he sits. And sometimes when you sit, that impact here is gonna cause more pain. So this is an opportunity for you to do some over the top pantomime acting. So changes in body posture when you walk, changes when you just sit down. So depending on whatever body mechanics you have, that will affect how the character moves and reacts. And then the other one is when you have close-ups. So when you have a scene like this, when he says a line and gestures over like here, that again, causes pain. So it's a simple thing, but think about if your character has an egg brace or a cast, maybe there's something on an arm and then that, you know, the character has to pick something up with two hands, but he can't. So there's something with a cast and he has to put something on the cast, could be something on a leg. So think about anything in terms of a prop where it's a restriction for the character in terms of movement. And because of that, it will force you to do something. Also because it's something on an arm or maybe a leg or something else, it will also force asymmetry in a character. So if one is, if this whole thing is in a cast, then you have to find something mostly with this side of the body or maybe something in here and then through that or whatever it is. But uh, it will force asymmetry, which will make the posing more interesting, so it's not so twinned, and so on and so on. Many, many benefits. So, second sequence, same thing here, I'm scrub through. This is the end of a specific trial, kind of an informal hearing, and it's not that there's no judge there, but as he has found a weakness in Gal Dukat's uh, testimony here, here, and it's, I love that little background character, knowing that he is defeated, he's gone. There's that specific look of schadenfreude, as we say. It's awesome because it's so subtle. So watch the throat of the character on the left. There you go. And then he continues to pretend, well, I don't know, and he's all being so serious. And he goes, oh, why? But I wasn't there, I wasn't there. While he knows that he is lying. But, and this is tricky because a lot of rigs don't really have a swallow function. I mean, not that I've seen, but I have to also admit I'm not super up to date on the latest rigs, but this, this small thing makes a big difference. So imagine your character, you, you don't see this. So imagine you're ignoring this and you just watch this expression here. So he asks him a question, he waits and goes, nah, I'm not aware of any of this. Now watch it again, but then there's a swallow. So it betrays the, the arrogance, it betrays the confidence of the character just by having this. So it's small and it's subtle and I know it's tricky with rigs that might not have that control, so I'm not sure how you wanna fake this. So it's not really something that you might be able to implement right away, but it's something that I wanna call out because it's so subtle and it's cool. I know it's tricky because it's not flashy. It's not something where a character does big gestures or big weight lift or a big mechanics thing. It's basically a character doing nothing. It's just a stare and then a swallow. But if you have this in a sequence where it's a storytelling thing, where you have multiple shots, it could be a really, really cool moment to show another side of a character, to reveal something. It might not be an impressive one-off shot on a reel where it's just the face doing nothing and a swallow, but if you do a sequence and there's something where you wanna show that the character is insecure and the confidence has been shaken, then a swallow would be really, really cool. And there you go, short and sweet, Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I love that show, I'm a massive, massive fan. Actually tonight, Star Trek Discovery starts. I'm also gonna watch this, it's gonna be awesome. And speaking of watching, as always, thank you for watching until the very end, if you watch till the very end. And if you like this, give this a like, you know the drill. Like and subscribe and hit the bell button, but it's totally up to you if you wanna get all the notifications. But that is it from me and I will see you in the next clip.